Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, if you are new here. If you are new here, we are getting down to the wire with moving. Um, so today, I had the random idea that I want to, today I was actually supposed to pack, but um, I actually accomplished a lot of my packing last week. Um, so I had the grand idea to go to Home Goods today. Home Goods is open in another county. Um, and I honestly don't have much going on, so I think I'm going to take a trip out to Home Goods, and I think there's a TJ Maxx connected to the Home Goods, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that. I'm praying that because I'm making this drive, that they actually are like stocked with things and that they have good stuff to shop from. So I've been dying to get to Home Goods for a while just because. Like they obviously have a lot of cheap decor and storage, um, like baskets and things like that. So if I could spend my money there and get it for a cheaper price, I would much rather do that than spend the money online um, at somewhere else. And I've already had to do that for some things when I would have rather preferred to get them from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, anywhere like that. So. I'm finally happy that I can go to one before I leave because Philly is still, well actually when this video goes live, most likely Philly will be in the yellow phase, but still I don't think like a Marshalls or Home Goods or anything like that is going to be open around like Philly or the nearby counties. So um, I don't think they'll be open for a while. So this is kind of like my last opportunity to get to one before I move. So. I am all showered and I am going to head out the door soon. It is raining cats and dogs right now. So that will be fun. Hopefully that dies down. But like I said, I have really nothing going on today and I figured why not just go and check it out. So I'm going to take you guys along with me for that. And then, yeah, there might be some other fun things going on later on tonight. No point in doing my hair today because it's raining out, so I don't mind that. But, yeah, um, it is probably around 11.30 now almost, and I'm just going to get on my merry way. Okay, so it definitely took one hell of a trip to get here. It was such a windy and weird way to get here um but i'm finally here and it's actually sunny over here so that's good um it looked like it definitely rained but it's sunny so definitely better than when i left but we are about to go in and i'm so excited look at the size of these mirrors and they're so much cheaper Okay, that was successful. It is now hot out. Um, it was successful, but the line to check out was so long. Um, I guess like everyone wanted to go to Home Goods. Probably they just recently opened. So I guess everyone wanted to get out, had the same idea. I sure did. Um, but I got some storage bins which was kind of like the main thing I was looking for like food storage bins and then I got one decorative piece that uh, looking all over the market right now they kind of cost a fortune so um, as literally nothing that big and then my mom wanted some plants so you could see like some of the plant behind me but she got three plants and then, I don't know, I think I just got basically storage stuff. There's a lot of good things they had there. Um, a lot of it was picked through, but still they had a lot. Luckily, like, a lot of the things that were picked through were more so things that are, like, considered necessity things, I guess. It wasn't necessarily decorative pieces. So, luckily for me, that's exactly what I'm looking for, so there was more for me to choose from. But... Oh, well, it's hot and I'm dressed in sweats and a sweatshirt right now. Okay, I need to pee. I need to get gas. And I'm far away from home. So, 
that's my next mission. I just went to Target and oh my God, I'm so happy. I haven't had a healthy kombucha. Actually, I had one recently, but this is so good, especially this flavor in the summer. And then I got some other things back here. You can't even see them. I'll do an entire haul when I get home. It is now 2.36. And I'm going to go get gas. It is so hot out. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to get gas and then I'm heading home. But I really want to go in Michael's at the same time. <laughs> it's there and like there's nothing at home that's open for me. So I don't know. Okay. So I just walked in the door literally moments ago. I'm back from Home Goods and I went to Target. I did walk into Michael's then. I didn't find anything, so I left. But I figured since I went to Home Goods and Target, I'd show you what I got. Um, it only makes sense to. So don't mind this, but we are moving in a few days. So just keep that in mind. All right. First of all, I'll start off with the Home Goods stuff. Okay, so it's a Home Goods slash TJ Maxx, but my main goal for going there was to get like to look for decorative pieces because they have like really random trinkets and like decorative pieces for a really great price. So I wanted to look for that and also storage um, and just like anything else. I looked at everything there. What the heck? These sweatpants have been giving me a hard time all day, but. I did hit the jackpot with the storage um, and I was actually looking on Bed Bath & Beyond last night because I was going to, well I was looking to purchase um, some food storage containers and I mean yeah they're basically the same price in store and on or on Home Depot, or not Home Depot, on Bed Bath & Beyond and um, the ones that I found in Home Goods, but I just figured why not get the ones that I see in person and get them now. Um, and then the remaining, the, the remaining, the remainder containers that I want or feel like I need when I move in, I'll order off of Bed Bath & Beyond. But they are by the same brand, so I will still link them when I can. They'll be linked on my Like to Know It um, and most likely in the description box below by the time this video is up. So... That is what I hit the jackpot, jackpot on today. And the storage containers that I got are by OXO. I don't know if that's how you say it, but OXO. And these are just like the pop containers. I have wanted these for so long because I just am a storage organizational freak. And these bring me so much satisfaction. So let's see. This was $9.99. And... I'm trying to find, actually it says compare at $14. I don't know if I believe that these are $14 um, normally, but hey, maybe. So this was $9.99 and this is the, actually it might be, I don't know, the 1.5 quart. So I was looking at like 2.2 quart ones on Bed Bath & Beyond, which I don't end up, I don't think I got a two quart one. Actually, yeah, I did. I got a 2.5 quart one too. Okay. Anyway, so my whole idea with this was like chia seeds, hemp seeds, um, cause I buy those in bulk or like, um, I know I have pecans or what is it called? Walnuts, like things like that. Um, I also have like coffee grounds. So I figured this size would be perfect because it could fit a lot of small things. Um, and like I said, it's just the pop and it keeps it every everything nice and fresh and concealed. So I love these and they're super slim and stackable too, which I really love. So I did just get two of those because like I said, there's many uses for these. So I'm really excited to go through and organize everything. Um, and then, oh, I, I got a different size. I don't even know what I got. So then I got another container from the same brand. This, is, this one was $12.99 and this one is, okay, actually I think these are cheaper than the ones I was seeing on Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, 
So, yeah, this one is a 3.4 quart, and I was thinking I could do oats in this one, or I could do flour, sugar, something like that. I don't know, whatever I have like a lot of bulk of, I could put in here. I don't really eat cereal, and it shows cereal on here, but who knows? There are possibility, the possibilities are endless for this, so. I know these will just get put to use no matter what. Then I have one here that, does this not work? I should have checked them all before I bought them. Okay, well this one I'm finding is not working. Okay, um, well that's good. So yeah, this one apparently isn't working right now. Um, I don't know. I think she'll just, she'll be fine if I just keep her on like this. I'm not gonna return it, but who knows, maybe it will end up working. Um, the suction is in though, so like you just pop there, you could take it on and off um, and it will stay on. But again, this is the same size. This is a 2.5 quart. Actually, sorry. This one is a 2.5 quart and this one was $10.99. Like again, like I said, again, I could do almonds, nuts of any sort, mixed nuts. I got another one of these. Let's see if this one works. Okay, this one works, so who knows. Um, let's see, I think that's it for like those specific storage containers. But then I got um, a, an 18, oh wait, I did not realize this has 21 compartments for eggs. So I got a very large egg holder for the fridge. And we have one of these at home. I never had one of these before because I never really felt like there's a need, but it just does, it does just organize things a little bit better. And it's super simple because instead of like taking out the container of eggs and like opening it up, you can just easily pull this out and you can stack stuff on top of it too. So you don't have to do anything. Like you don't have to take this out of the fridge in particular and it holds 21 eggs. So this will be super nice to um, organize the fridge. And this was only $9.99. Again, you can find that at Bed Bath & Beyond, the container store, Amazon, you can find those all over. Um, so I'll have something similar to that linked as well. I broke my old lemon juicer and this thing is just essential for everyone. Everyone needs a lemon or lime juicer, whatever it is, they need this. Um, this was $5.99 and I broke my other one, like I said, so picked up this super in inexpensive, affordable lemon squeezer, juicer, whatever. All right, and then oh, lastly, we have two things here. Um, so I ordered a bath mat to go with my shower curtain off of CB2. And I knew when I ordered it, it was on back order till July. Oh, I just got sidetracked. It was on back order till July. I don't know when that will be shipped, but I figured I could use like a towel or something like that in the meantime. But I just came across this little bath mat here. It's just like this light beige cream color. And it was $5.99, I think. Actually, no, it was $7.99. But still super inexpensive, affordable. It's going to go with my bathroom. And, um, you know, I can use this until I get my other bath mat. And then also when my other bath mat is like in the wash or something, I can use this in between like washes. So... I think this will be nice. It's super soft and I'm glad I picked that up. And then lastly from Home Goods, I knew I wanted to get these types of beads. They're like decorative beads. Um, and then I'm gonna cut, I don't know if it's meant to. Yeah, it, this is just rubber band banded on here, but I'm gonna take that off then obviously. And these are just like meant to be put on like a nice like console or you know, add a little accent to a coffee table. And I was looking all over for these and I found some on like Pottery Barn and some other places and they were upwards of like 79, 80 bucks, somewhere around there. 
and super expensive, okay, not paying that much for something like this. Um, I did find these on Etsy though for around 20 some bucks as well, but you know, with Etsy, they're all handmade things, so I figured they would take a little bit longer. So when I came across this, I figured this was a really great find and it was $24.99, so I'm really stoked that I came across these because now I don't have to wait for them to come in on Etsy. Okay, that is all for home goods. Now we'll get on to Target. So I went into Target and super impulsive decisions, but like these were things that I had on my list that I was just planning to get at a later date and time, but I decided to pick them up now. Um, so I got a soap dispenser for my bathroom. I think at least I'm going to use this in my bathroom, if not then the kitchen, but just a plain old soap dispenser. I forget, this is like, I don't wanna say it's apothe apothecary, apothecary, I don't know what it is. I don't know what this is specifically called, but I know that they, there's like, this is a trend. <laughs> That's all I know. And I know that they also have several different things, um, like canisters and stuff like that in this specific glass. So I was looking at those and I wish I would have gotten them now. I, that was like my biggest regret after leaving there, but I could still pick them up. So got this. I'm putting it in my bathroom as of now, unless it doesn't match, but that's kind of like the whole idea that I had originally, but who knows. And then I'm a huge fan of these Target storage bins. I have them in all different shapes and sizes. And I fit, pick these three up here because right behind here, they're kind of like the same. No, they're not the same, but anyway. I've had this for a while now and these are all packed and ready to go with all of my socks, underwear, sweatpants, sweatshirts, t-shirts, leggings, sports bras, all of that stuff. But my sock, underwear, and bra drawer is in one drawer and it's like kind of a mess. It definitely will like clash together at some point in time. So I took these bins and they actually had this same cat or drawer set at Target, so I put them in to see if they would fit perfectly. They did, so I got three of them to put my socks, um, underwear, and bras in to separate those. So these were super inexpensive. I'm pretty sure they are like $4.99 or something, or maybe even less than that. I just picked up um, an expanding little file organizer, folder, whatever, because I have a small one that's like half the size of this, and it doesn't hold nearly enough. And as I get older, there are more important things like big papers and stuff like that, contracts, things that I need to keep. So just to have something to organize all of those like files and important receipts and all of that stuff, I decided to get this to put in my little like office um, drawer set. And I have been having like the most difficult time, I'm sure everyone has, with finding cleaning supplies. And no, I'm not trying to hoard it. I'm moving into a new apartment and don't have any of this stuff. Like this is essential for me. It's not like I'm taking a few extra to just stock up. I need them to move in. Um, I'm sure I can like deal with out for a while, but it would be nice to have these things when I move in. Um, so I finally came across some hand lotion, or not hand lotion, hand um, soap, and I just picked up the Love Beauty and Planet in the, I don't know, it says Blooming Fresh, but it has lemons on top, and it says vanilla, so I don't, yuzu and vanilla, I don't really know, I didn't even smell it, honestly, let's take a smell together. Oh, that smells really good, okay. I'm very happy with this purchase. So I was thinking I would put this one in the kitchen because it you know, has the lemons on it. I figured it would look really cute there. And then I'm a huge fan of the Mrs. Meyers cleaning like collection or brand, whatever. And I wanted to buy all my soaps and stuff like that in the Mrs. Meyers um, like brand, but that's a little hard to do right now and I completely understand. I'm just being super extra about it. But I did come across their surface cleaner. This is a multi-surface everyday cleaner in, in the scent basil. And guys, you might think like basil's a weird scent for stuff like this, but it actually smells really good. 
and it's just it smells really good <laughs> there's nothing like you know you can't say anything wrong about that and they didn't have any little um, sizes like this in the hand soaps but they did have a refill for um, the basil scent in like a jug like this so since I'm getting the or since I did get the soap dispenser anyway this is perfect because I can just put this hand soap right into the dispenser also if I ran ran out in the kitchen I could also put this there as well so this is perfect these were super inexpensive as well and then last but not least I have a when I worked with Mapafold to get like a Philly a map of Philly a few months ago, um, I don't have a frame for it, and I knew that I wanted to put that from day one, I wanted to put that poster square in my kitchen, like square right in the middle of my kitchen, but I didn't have a frame for it, so I just picked up an 18 by 24 inch white frame from Target. Um, I had been shopping around for a lot of this stuff actually on like Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond, the container store. So I was very familiar with prices ahead of time from those places. And then I always I, I also have a list of everything that I like was kind of, it's like kind of on my wish list. Um, so I know the prices of all the things that I looked at before. So that's why I got a lot of stuff that I did because it was a lot more cheaper. So for example, I was going to get a frame like this from Amazon, but it was literally maybe a dollar cheaper to get it at Target and I would have had it right then and there. So, that's why I did all the things that I did. But, yeah, okay, we are good to go. Um, I am going to now organize these drawers with the bins that I just showed you, these bins that I just showed you. Um, I'm gonna organize the drawers with those and then my mom and I are going to go to a farmer's market later on today to get produce and a bunch of things like that. Um, so that I'm stocked and ready to go for when I move. Um, so yeah, that's just like a cheaper way because with everything going on in Philly right now and, um, you know, like I, when I get to my place, I don't want to leave my place for like at least a week really. Um, we'll see, but it was just like have to feel things out, but I'm trying to stay there and just make sure that I'm like fully stocked with everything that I need treating it like it's hardcore quarantine again. So I am going to get stocked up on that. And a cheap way to do that is just to go to the farmer's market instead of going to like Wegmans or somewhere else, like a mass, uh, a mass grocery store. So that is what we are going to do in a little. Oh, method. This is, so, this is a really good brand that Target sells. Something smells good. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, I meant here, sorry. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. If you've never been to the hometown market before, Mm -hmm. The pretzels are really good. <laughs> They're really good. The Tastes like that. Any ants? Any ants, yeah. But better, I think. I think they're better. <laughs> Smile, Mom. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just looking ridiculous. Hmm? This is all great. This is a lot of plastic, I know, but these are all of the groceries we got. My mom also got groceries too, but a lot of it is stuff that I needed, so I'm stocked now. So at the market, I don't know. So it's not just like a food market. They also sell like really cheap t-shirts and just like surplus items. So I immediately saw this when we came in and this is the Method brand, which is the Target brand. And I absolutely love the Method brand. So they had a bunch of like literally big bins full of dish soap. So of course, like I'm moving into an apartment. Um, I do have dish soap, but you can never have too many, especially since these were like two for 250 or something like that. I don't know. Or three for 250, something along those lines. So my mom picked up some. I think I got these two. I think I got the rosemary and then the citrus grove 
uh, scents, and then she got these. So these were a great find, and there's nothing wrong with them. Hello, we are back. Um, I unloaded everything, put it in the fridge out in the uh, garage, um, and that will be all ready to go then for Friday when we leave. Um, but I wanted to go through and kind of just say like what I got. It's not going to be a formal grocery haul. I might do a formal grocery haul when I actually get to my place because there are things that I didn't get today that I'll have to get, um, on Friday. So let's just break out the grocery list here. Um, I try to be super conscious about planning for the grocery store, um, because I'm really bad at sticking to what I need and what I need only. I will admit it and I will be the first to admit it. So if I ever feel, first of all, I haven't made a grocery list in a very long time because I've been at home and, um, you know, my parents have been, well, my mom has been doing like all of the grocery shopping and all that stuff. So this is going to be the first time in a while where I am making like plans for what I'm going to eat for the week and all of that and all of that stuff. So um, also because I'm moving into an apartment and like I don't have, I used up a lot of like what I had before, before like I came home. Um, there are things that I just need to replenish because, or restock because I use those all up. Things I don't buy every single week typically. So this list also like I'm just trying to diversify what I eat a little bit because I used to eat the same things over and over at my old place um which there was nothing wrong with that trust me i didn't ever get sick of anything but i want to like diversify what i eat get a little bit more creative and also just like be a mom and have a fridge stocked all the time full of things so that i can just like always whip up something random i don't have to be like oh i don't have the ingredients for that um and like just have like a pantry stocked so that's like my main goal in life is just to be a complete mom. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But let's go through how I made my grocery list and like kind of what I think I'm going to plan to eat this week. Okay, so I always write it down on a piece of paper for the most part just because I think writing it down helps 10 times better than just like trying to remember everything. Um, also putting it in my phone, I feel as though like I get sidetracked and my phone is just like not as easy as just having this out. Um, some people might like it otherwise, but I just like to plan ahead and this is a really good way for me to map it out easily. So I kind of wrote down first what I normally eat. Um, and just, yeah, and then like went through on Pinterest and like what I was feeling like I might be interested in making for dinner as well. So I broke it down between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And um, for the most part, I'll just get into it. So for breakfast, I have lemon water, which I always have. And then, you know, my whole routine here has been quite messed up. I don't eat the same things that I normally would. I used to have a fruit bowl every single morning, literally almost every single morning. Um, that was like my first breakfast with lemon water. Here, it's changed up a little bit. Um, I think like I just want to have fruit stocked and have different options as well as like have homemade granola made each week or for the most part each week. So I have lemon water and then I have granola, which I will be making myself. Yogurt, um, that's just like if I want it. Um, and if I do get that, I'm going to Wegmans, so that's why I put it because they have Siggy's um, dairy-free yogurt, which is so amazing. Um, I have like smoothies, smoothie bowls. So for that, I usually do like spinach bananas, frozen berries, and like chia seeds, hemp seeds, all of that stuff that I just usually have stocked in the pantry. Um, for a second breakfast, I usually have an egg scramble or some sort of like egg protein based um, meal. So that would be like eggs, avocados, just different veggies involved in that, or avocado toast, um, which is just like sour, sourdough bread, arugula, eggs, and avocado. Um, coffee, so 
with my coffee, I've been loving, except I haven't been able to make it in a while, oat milk, frothed oat milk over my coffee. Um, so I have coffee, but then oat milk, I want to make my own again. Um, so that would mean I need oats. And then for lunch and dinner, I usually eat lunch, um, or what I usually eat for lunch is leftovers from dinner. I usually never make like a straight up meal for lunch that like is just fresh, you know? But I want to make more salads and I don't mean like little wimpy salads just to like be healthy and lose weight or whatever. I mean like good bomb ass big protein, nutrient dense packed salads. So um, that's something I wanna do. So that would require just, I don't know, a bunch of different random ingredients, but the main ingredient being like lettuce, some sort of lettuce. So like romaine or something like that. I don't even know if I ended up adding. Yeah, I did. Um, so that's kind of like my lunch situation. And then dinner for this week, I usually always have typical meats stocked in the freezer. Um, so that's chicken, ground turkey or ground chicken, shrimp, um, and then salmon. Those are like the four things that I usually have stocked in the freezer at all times. So then I kind of like base whatever I want to eat that night off of that. But this week I'm thinking I might do like um, a pesto, um, pistachio pesto asparagus pasta. I've made that before. And then I was thinking about doing a cilantro lime chicken or maybe a basil lemon chicken, something like that. And then I was thinking about doing a like chicken taco salad or just chicken tacos, something along those lines. So kind of like diversifying it up. Those are like the three main things that I'm like kind of shooting for that I would need very specific ingredients for. However, like I said, I usually always have stuff stocked. So for example, this week, I just got asparagus at the market and I have salmon stock. So if I wanted to do salmon and asparagus, salmon and asparagus as an easy meal, I have that. So that's kind of how I break it down. That was a lot. And then I'll just tell you like my grocery list, although there are other things added on here. I have lemons, limes, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, avocados, cilantro, basil, asparagus, tri bell peppers, the mini bell peppers, onions, both red and yellow, tomatoes, like little cherry tomatoes, corn on the cob, romaine lettuce, eggs, egg whites, oats, yogurt, frozen fruit, sourdough bread, spinach, arugula, pistachios, this is a little extra something, don't need it, typically is expensive, but siete chips and chickpeas. I think I might already have chickpeas, so I don't think I'll need those, but there might be other things that I'm missing that I might just pick up on the rando and I don't even mean to get them, but I just go crazy. So yes, that's what it's looking like for this week. But the main line being that we saved so much money going to the farmer's market, which I'm so happy I, I did that before I left, um, to get a bunch of produce there, literally, like you would not believe. Um, we got so much stuff for like 40, I think it was like $50 then. So much produce for 50 bucks, such a great deal. So then the remaining things, the like fancier items, if you will, uh, those things I'll buy from Wegmans on Friday and I would have saved so much more money. I did save so much money already by buying at the farmer's market. That is like my main goal going forward. Um, just trying to save money in like different places. And that is definitely one place that I'm trying to save money is just grocery shopping, trying to buy from like farmer's market, farmer's markets, local produce so that it's so much cheaper and that I'm also helping and contributing to their business as well. So that is the plan. That is what we've got going on here. So did not know that this would turn into a grocery talk slash grocery ex exploration video or whatever. Anyway, um, I don't know what else I'm doing for the rest of the night. Probably not much, but I will just update you guys later if I do anything else.
Okay guys, so I am finishing up getting ready for bed. Um, I didn't end up doing anything else um, just because it was later and like there was not really much to really get started on. So tomorrow's the big day, not the big, big day, but tomorrow's the big day where we're going to actually start packing up the U-Haul and all of our cars and all of the stuff like that. So, mm, lovely. Tomorrow shall be fun as well. Um, of course, I am vlogging like literally for the next few days, everything. So I will be vlogging, packing up the U-Haul and doing all of that. So tomorrow will be a whole other vlog and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to end this video here tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Get ready because the moving, actual moving vlogs, moving in vlogs are starting really now. They're starting now and they're only progressively going to get better. So get excited um, and I will talk to you guys in the next video, aka tomorrow.